So yo, what's up guys? Today is our August eBay Facebook purchase video. Obviously, I'm bringing this back. We used to do it in 2020. I did one, I didn't get any views, so I stopped this series. But I really wanna show you guys some stuff and hopefully it inspires you to look out for some of these cards on eBay or in the marketplaces. I got a good feedback on the last one. We did one last month. Uh, and so yeah, we're gonna do another one showing you our pickups in general, most of them. Uh, that I can remember picking up and I just put them here so lots of stuff from singles to cards to get graded to some sports there and all this is just Pokemon slabs uh, so yeah hopefully you like this video if you want to see more of these if this gets over a thousand views again we'll keep it going so yeah definitely make sure to support these videos when they come out the pickup videos hopefully it helps you out and yeah let's get into it so starting off with some of the single cards here so pretty much Currently it's the 29th, there's some strikes and obviously bank holidays. So I've got some more deliveries to come. I'll just put them in the September pickup video and just record this one early so I can put these cards away pretty much. But it's, we've got this Raichu Hollow. I'm not sure what set it's from. I don't, I'm not sure the English version either, but I got it free with a purchase of another card and I really like this Raichu Hollow artwork. So very nice. We'll take it from 2015. So I guess the XY era. We've got the Blossom Pikachu uh cherim cherim or blossom i don't even know blossom I, I don't even know what this promo is called but it popped up on ebay not the mintiest hence why it's not in the grading pile there's a little bit like like you see that top the whitening on the top there so just for the binder collection don't have one of these so i thought just buy it put it in the binder collection why not so some vintage dialgas well when i say vintage diamond and pearl would you consider that vintage but diamond and pearl dialgas we've got the hollow dialga and a level x so not mint either, just for my vintage Japanese binder collection. So a Gengar promo from Champions Path. I actually didn't buy this one. I bought a binders off my mate Tom Age from the Discord. And he included loads of uh, promos in there. So kept the Gengar. I've obviously opened that box on the channel before. Uh, but these are really cool. Latios and Latias uh, deck promos. So I tried to find this deck for a long time now. And I thought, just let me just buy the holo promos. So I wanted the deck sealed for the collection. But they're really hard to find. None on eBay and stuff like that. Cards are not too expensive, so I bought, um, I love Latios and Laias, so bought those. Look at the artworks, they're just incredible. So you pick those up cheap on eBay, and these are the older deck ones, so Latias and Latios. These are from like 2004, so I had to pick these up. I think they're really cool, not too expensive either. And then we got the Pikachu from that previous deck, so you got the Latios stamp. I think this is Sandstorm Pikachu, I might be wrong, I haven't, like, I don't know any, like, anything mid vintage I, I don't i'm not 100 sure exactly i have to always google it and check but i think so and this is the latios stamp there so i thought i got the original one i got the regular 100 in the collection because i collect all the common pikachus all the pikachus i try and collect so i thought let me grab that with the stamp for the binder collection so suicune hollow this is from another deck i love it i just love these stamps like you see the suicune stamp there i just like stuff like that it was from um cardiff comic con so comic con wales uh we went there i'm going cardiff card show which is coming up in september so stay tuned for more pickups in that video but this is from one of my comic con pickups it was like a pound or something why not grab that this one you guys may know from the world it was an l i bought this because i really wanted the secret rare, P secret rare pikachu from the black and white um but it's spanish or portuguese so <laughs> i thought because he had loads of english cards so i presumed this one was english because it was next to it i just didn't really focus or check really so i just grabbed it I'm like oh i need that i just bought it because it's, it's around roughly worth that anyway so in the english one anyway so i thought it could be english but not okay this is the so yeah you guys would have seen that in the world's video but this arceus v i got a job lot of stuff or i like, bought a bulk collection of someone he had this one uh, and the corners are like pretty decent. I wouldn't say the best, the centering's not best either, but I've only opened one of these in English, so I thought, let me just, I'll just keep the promo instead of selling it. Uh, again, we've got the Pikachu, Zekrom, and Charizard and Reshiram. This is the SM12A Tag Team GX All-Stars, not the uh, SM10 or SM9 ones. Uh, pretty much just got them in a bulk GX deal, because I could buy a lot of bulk GXs from Japan. I thought, let me keep these two for the binder collection, because you know I've got loads of these. Again, this one is just another bulk flot deal. So I got a load of bulk flot EXs. I thought, I like Kangaskhan, why not keep that? So the Japanese Seeker Rare there, first edition. Uh, obviously, full arts in Japanese. So Seeker Rares, we've got Sizzle. I want to say Breakpoint. Is this from Breakpoint? It's just, what, sub £10, £5. I love collecting, and you'll see shortly some EX full arts. And you got, it'll probably help you, like, inspire you guys to get into collecting full art EXs, because I think they're very undervalued uh, and underrated. 
Um, but yeah, this one Scizor, like five-ish pounds I paid, so I thought, why not? Not something I want to grade, I just bought it because it's cheap, stick it in the binder. This one was a Comic-Con pickup, Breakthrough, I think. Um, U2 EX, just something I didn't have, and I thought, just stick it in the binder. But this one here, I bought on eBay. Can't remember most of the prices, and I don't want to list all the prices, because today, as you can see, you spent a lot uh, this month. But yeah, these are most of my pickups. I still have some stuff, like sealed stuff, that I haven't got today. And obviously, we bought loads of stuff from Worlds, like skateboards, and you can just watch the Worlds video for that. But yeah, we picked up a lot of stuff this week, uh, this month, but I'll just showing you the cards we've bought. So, so this is Phantom Forces Gengar, Mega Gengar EX, and as you can see, it has the gold Japanese writing there, which means it is a secret rare. So I thought, why not buy this? It wasn't super mint, but it was a good deal. So I thought, why not grab it just for the collection? So as you can see, a little bit whitening on top. So what, it was really good value for what it was like if you compare it to the other ones on the market. And there's a lot of fakes of these EX era cards. So I thought, just grab it, stick it in the binder. Very nice card, regardless of condition. Another one, same with that Gengar um, Champions Path promo. Uh, it was in the bulk, so yeah, my mate threw it in and I thought I'll just keep it in the collection just because I have a page binder full of these, so I want to fill up some more. So this is the Secret Rwanda's Cherizard in Reverse Hollow. So I bought this one from one of the Discord members, it was like £10 cheaper than all the ones on eBay. And it's in like bad condition, like a little bit white specs. For the value, that's super good because on eBay you're going to get played ones for about £35, £40. So to get it for 20 ish I think I paid 20 ish it was like early... Uh, August I bought this so I can't quite remember this one I bought from my guy Turkam Gamehouse he just had it on his website it's a non-holo EX Entei and I thought eh might as well keep that <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that why not and you guys know I like Entei so this is a shiny Entei this is a promo I actually already have this one but uh, again it came up on eBay and I thought why not get it so which tin is it is it I, I don't even know the sets like I said anything mid era I don't know like 100% I know like some of the WotC stuff modern I know like anything from Sun and Moon onwards I know 100% all of it XY some of it but anything between I really don't know because I hardly venture into that stuff I've never opened those packs on the channel uh so I never really look into it too much I just know I need certain cards from certain sets and that's about it uh, but yeah, Entei promo from Heart Gold Soul Silver. So one of the tins, I believe. These two, so Tyranta and Dragonite, bought these at Worlds. They were like a pound. I think on the last day of Worlds, I thought, why not just buy these for the binder collection? I got the crosshatch promo of that holo graded already in the collection. I think I got a raw one as well. I think Ty um, Matt Cully sells these English ones on his site. So go check out my guy, Matt Cully, six site. And we got some Digimon. So we opened this set. I can't remember what set it was. But they had these awesome looking cards. Like, as you can see, they got like texture on them and they're super cheap, like two pound each. So I had to get my two favorites, War Greymon and Metal Garu Rumon. Like, these are my two childhood favorites. Really cheap cards. You can see the set numbers there, P050 and 051. Just check them up on eBay. Like, they're really cheap. If you like the look of these cards, like, I don't know if you can see the texture there, but like, it's really nice card for the money. So definitely recommend grabbing those. But yeah, those are all the raw cards. They'll just go into the binders. I have separate binders for different categories. So Digimon, obviously vintage, full arts, Charizard, Pikachu's, etc. So those will go in the binder collections. We'll do binder collection videos. I need to save the content. So maybe when we get like 100,000 subscribers, I'll still start showing more of my collection. Um, we did a great, my graded card collection, but that was like really when we started. So a lot more since then, as you can see, I'm buying this many slaps a month. Um, but yeah, let's go. So, um, onto our cards, we're going to get to grades. So the staff one, you guys might not know it because I didn't post a video of stuff, me picking up the staff cards, but I did post it on my community post. So I did the video on Saturday at Worlds. On Sunday, I bought so much more stuff. Like, I should have vlogged. I just didn't bring my vlog camera. So I thought I did three Worlds videos, three different titles, and that's it. I should have done it. I should have brought the camera and vlogged some more. Because that day, we bought a lot, a lot of stuff. And including the staff promo, I bought four in total. I gave one to my boy, sold one at the event, gave one, sold one to Randolph, and this one here. So yeah, boom. And then we got some English. So I do have... So there's one, two, three, four. These English ones are selling for about 200 plus on eBay. We've got four here at, at, at the trade pit. They were much cheaper. So this is why you should have come to the event, try and copped one there while you could. Like, uh, But I have four here. I've got one more. I sent it to Ace to get the Ace label. Uh, so I do have, so you're going to see a return video soon. If you want to see, stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe. But yeah, these were pretty cool. So three of them were from the sealed promo packs. I think I bought one for... I don't know. I don't know where I got one from. I got another one from somewhere. I think I bought it 
400 I think I have no idea how I got five now but I know I bought a French one because one guy wanted a French he had English so I bought a French one for like 30 pounds and traded with a guy so one of these cost me 30 pounds which is pretty epic like he wanted French more than English so I said I'll go buy one in the trade and he's like calm so yeah one of these cost me 30 pounds and you can check eBay they're going for like three, 200 plus we got a Japanese one so I sold all the other languages like I have them right here so I have all the other languages on my eBay uh, so Portugal, Spanish, Korean left, Italian and Indonesian. So those are available on my eBay. The prices have dropped a little bit on them since I've listed them. I'm not really fast to sell them because with the other ones I've sold, they literally cost me nothing now. So I don't mind sitting on them. I can keep them in my collection, if anything. Um, so yeah, we've got the Japanese here. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so boom. So I'll show you stuff. So we have two Japanese I sent on off to Ace. One of them was damaged. So I sold it on eBay because I had three sealed packs, uh, promo packs. So yeah, one was damaged. So I just sold it on eBay. Uh, but boom, we got some Thai cards. So as you can see, with the Thai celebration starters, these cost about 40, I think 40, 40 pounds. I paid at Worlds from someone from Thailand. Really good value. I think I can grade these with like Ace and just get the Ace label on them. So for the money, like literally identical to the Japanese. Why not? Super nice card. We have the Thai Charizard. I think I paid 30. They wanted 40. I might have offered uh, 30 quid and they said, yeah, it was like literally the last moments before everyone left. So I thought, yo, let me throw in a 30 offer. Oh, Art Charizard, this card is super sick. I think it's a future classic. So why not tie one for 30 pounds? Would you pay, like guys, let me know in the comments. Would you pay 40 for these? Like they had loads of these. So lots of people, someone else in my Discord bought those and they had this loads of these as well. They had the rainbow one, but the rainbow one, rainbow Charizard V-Star was about uh, 100 plus, something like that. So I was like, yeah, I'm ready by English for that. No, yeah, 30 pounds, can't go wrong. You got S9 T, so the Japanese set number and then T for tie. And then boom, we got some Chinese or Taiwanese cards here. So this is a special promo. Obviously, these are both vivid voltage, but you got this awesome like VMAX Charizard stamp on there. I wanted these when they came out. I remember when they came out around 2020. Uh, but my guy in Hong Kong, he's not into Pokemon. I tell him to proxy me some stuff from there, but he had no idea how to find these there. So uh ended up buying it at Worlds for eight pounds for both of these. So another pickup I haven't shown you guys because this was the Sunday pickup. Um, I showed you these at Worlds. I picked this up. So this is a collector. This is from like a Hartfield. I don't know. I'll put the information on the screen. Uh, but they were from a tournament, but they were they can't like verify it was officially stamped by Pokemon or not, but it says collector on them. So I picked up two. The seller was at the event back at back then, so it would have been like 2018. So boom, I got I grabbed two, 50 quid each. They're selling on eBay for like 200 dollars So I thought 100 percent have to pick that up. And then, like I was talking earlier, full art uh EX card from the black and white and XY era. I love this Latios. I want to get some more. None of these, I feel like these EX cards are really super hard to grade. Um, so they're not the mintiest, so I'm not in a rush to get these graded. I just got them in semi-ridges. I'll grade them eventually for fun, just for my collection. But got the Latios, which I really love. Then we've got the Jirachi, which is super nice. So this is black and white now. This is a full art Gengar, same set as the Secret Gengar we had earlier, for from the same seller. A lot of these, I bought like two from two sellers. They sell in their like full art collections. I just bought all the ones I wanted that were in my budget. This Entei, I super love this one. Like, like I got saying, they're not super, super men, like odd whitenings, but not too bad. See, so yeah, I love the Entei. We've got the Articuno, this is from Generations, I believe. There is one error full art, so I'll find that one in a second. We've got Primal Clash full art. Uh, this is Ancient Origin or nah, which one's that? Primal Clash. Is it Primal Clash? Again, I'm always confused because there's like two Primal Kyogres and Groudons, I think. Uh, so yeah, I love Groudon and Kyogre because obviously Ruby and Sapphire, like my childhood era. We got the Latios. This is from Roaring Skies. Got a few of these super I, I can never get a minty one. This one isn't too bad, just the one white nick there, so I thought I'd just grab it anyways. This mega full art. So I think I have some already. I got one in my binder, one to grade already, and I thought if I can pick these up, because there's loads of fakes on eBay, if I can pick any up for a good value, good price, I'll pick them up. So I love the mega Rayquazas, and also got the Ancient Origins one. This is the Roaring Skies one. So the Ancient Origin one, I think I got like two graded. Um, I graded one myself in my first PSA submission, I think. So yeah, I really like that card. But boom, we got the Latias. So I think this goes with that Latias we had earlier from the black and white era. This one, I think might be my cleanest one. So as you can see, it's not too bad. Just one nick there. Might send these off to Ace, just get the Ace labels. I mean, the color match labels. I don't, I don't think most of these will have an Ace label, but this is a Groudon EX promo. So I think from a tin, I'm not quite sure, but I just love this artwork. Like, look at that. This video is going to be super long. That shows you how much we bought this month. 
We've got the Celebi EX, I think from the same seller as that one from Pop Series 2. Isn't the baddest condition. It's not too bad as well. So a lot of these were like, there's not many mint ones about. So I thought, yeah, we'll grab it. I love Celebi, so why not? All right, this one is a controversial one. So in my Discord, this looks 100% legit and I believe it is legit. But it has, like look at the back. That is as legit as they come. But it's missing the texture. And if you can see on the bottom, it has texture and it has some texture on some of it, like here and here. But I'm going to send this to CGC because I think it's a missing texture error. Like if you look at these lines here, they follow the exact same as a genuine texture pattern. Like I, and then you look at the star as well. Like it's like, it's like two layers to the star. So it's like you got the foil on top and the stars underneath as a separate layer. And that looks good as well. Um, so I think it's a te missing texture error. The guy didn't list it as such, he just sold it. So mainly like most of the XY lots I got from here were from the same seller. So I think it's a missing uh, texture error. So I'm going to send it to CGC. Obviously they will authenticate as well as grade it and give it the error label if it is error. But yeah, that looks, it is 100% legit. It just, bit, it looks like a fake when you see like no texture there. Like it's missing main texture on main, most of the card, but luckily it has that texture on the bottom here. You can see from the lines, it matches exactly with the, the real ones. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one. Anyone seen anything similar to that? But boom, Greninja Zora Arc from Unbroken Bonds Rainbow Rare. Um, you guys know Unbroken Bonds is one of my favorite sets. I think it came up in auction. Or I sent an offer, got it for kind of under market price. So I thought I'd add it to the collection. So I think I need, well, I got most of them. I just want like PSA 10 worthy ones. We'll send it to Ace, get another ace rainbow label video done if you haven't seen me did a huge rainbow submission insane submission so go check it out but yeah i'll send it again to them for that but boom some sports now so this is harlan's final goal for bvb bought it in an auction you guys know when it comes to sports i collect a lot of harlan cards so this is our 99 parallel from the tops now uh and then boom oh this one i think i don't know there's something dodgy going on with tops i got this randomly in the post from tops i heard they're switching out parallels so this one's from 2021 i didn't order the newer card or manual newer card from back then i don't think i ordered some parallels back then i mean i ordered lots of tops nows back then but didn't buy anything related to this or anything near this and uh yeah just baffled i know a few people getting random parallels in the post people saying they're swapping uh parallels with the new ones with the old ones that they have sitting there so maybe i was meant to get a parallel with one of my recent orders which i'll show you here and then they swapped it out so tops I emailed them as well, like, yo, what's going on? Why did I get this? I don't mind. It's like, at least I got a parallel or something, but it's, if they swapped out another card that I was meant to get, then that's a bit of a bummer. But yeah, let me know if you collect tops and you hear anything about them. I hear, see some things on Twitter and podcasts and stuff talking about that. So I think that might be the case. So someone else in my Discord, I'm like, they also got like a random Bundesliga parallel, but let's go. So these are the Project 22 from tops. So these are really like chunky cars. Like they got like some artists. This is Tyson Beck who's done a few things with uh, tops before. And yeah, I only bought it because it comes in a super cool case, thick card as well. So why not grab them? So we got the Messi one, we've got the Haaland one there. So they're the artist Matt Taylor. Maybe he's got to give him some credit. We've got Jude Bellingham by Che. We got Gabby. I don't really collect Gabby cards, but I bought the bundle of five for week one. I think some of them are selling, especially this one here. We've got the Ronaldo. So I bought I literally I wanted all of them, but the Gabby, I know Gabby's I might sell the Gabby. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I wanna sell the Gabby. So Gabby's going for sale on eBay, guys. But I know the Ronaldo is selling for over retail, so they cost about eight. I think they sell about nine because it's only available for seven days. And they got I think the print runs about three to five thousand per each. So yeah, we've got the Ronaldo there. And then also talking about Ronaldo, I got a game worn Ronaldo. So it cost me about 50, 60 pounds. And I thought for game worn Ronaldo, regardless of the grade, like the slab is sick. It's not like your ordinary slab because it's a thick card. But this is a game worn Ronaldo shirt in there. So PSA 5, but it's just something for the collection. You know what I mean? Would you buy this? Like any, if you like, I always want Ronaldo, like a game worn Ronaldo shirt card and a autograph Ronaldo shirt. That's kind of my sports collection goals. So. I thought 50 quid, 60 quid, why not? Cheaper than buying a box of cards and pulling nothing. But now on to the main bits. We got some slabs. This video is going to be super long, but hopefully inspired you. Let me know what has it inspired you to look for. Like it might be Digimon cards. It might be some of the full art, secret rares, hollow, stuff like that. Just let me know 
down in the comments because if it helps you guys then i'll continue to buy some more stuff inspire you guys to find stuff to buy for your collection but here we go i got this for free the guy was just handing this out at uh worlds a v star token i have no idea want to do this i'm probably going to give it out to my discord members so if you want to join my youtube membership to be have access to my discord then sign up to youtube membership i'm just going to give it to, away there so i'll put that over there to give away i, I just picked it up i thought it's not bad like it's free so if i don't want it, i can just give it away to someone that may want it but let's go here we got ace grading so i think this pile here is like all great ace and then we got like some other brands and psa so let's go so legendary treasures charizard boy for 15 pounds from my discord one of my um one of my guys i think flack hit me up and he's like yo you want this for 15 i was like yo of course the card alone is worth more than that so 100 percent and you know me i love ace so i wouldn't mind that this one is kind of like an impulse bid i just got it for cheap it is a challenge from the darkness so this would be gym challenge i think gym challenge in jap uh gym challenge in english uh so yeah right you lieutenant sarge right you gym challenge or gym heroes let me know guys uh but yeah i thought why not grab that peak you got the right you hollow is a six but it was like 10 ish pounds why not cost of grading you know what i mean <laughs> this one again less than the raw price a6 shining ho oh like i got it less than the raw price for the card i was like i love ho ho regardless of the grade why not just grab it for the collection i got a few more that i need to send off to grade uh but it was cheap like i said i said i might have to stop doing those impulse buys on ebay like it's cheap that's why i buy it but yeah these ones right here are pretty sick i'm super gassed i bought a huge collection 30 cards with someone and these literally work out less than the cost of the card again so these are impulse buys i don't mind having P uh ace nine latios and latias gx from tag bolt which you guys know i love uh tag team cards i love latios and latias as you saw earlier so i got this for the less than the price of the card less maybe less like the same price as the grading cost and i get the card free pretty much so i bought big bulk that's what happens when you buy a lot of bulk cards so i got that this one as well so yeah this is from tag bolt as well ace nine this is magic up and whale lord gx this is an alt art from the tag team era so yeah this card alone is like 30 40 50 pounds i paid like grading price for it because i bought in a bulk collection another one from the same collection there we got this burning shadows gx i thought i got a few of these in the collection i can't be asked to grade them i paid like grading cost again uh and i because i bought a bulk deal i think it was 30 cards so i bought a bulk deal and i was like yeah go on i'll keep it in the collection because it saves me spending 10 pounds to grade mine even though i could get the potential 10 but i love the artwork enough to keep multiples of these love that art but yeah let's go we got another one from the same bulk and boom a full art snorlax and eevee did i grade one i think i graded my rainbow one from english with ace maybe the i don't know if i graded my japanese one but i got a psa japanese rainbow one for sure and english i don't even know anymore i just got so much stuff so stay tuned for the collection video but yeah same again near enough cost of grading i paid and obviously those cards are worth more than that but here we go we got this one okay same seller i bought it in bulk i thought why not i got one already in the collection with an ace label which i bought in another bulk deal in my collection i was at a seven so this is an ace eight i got a few of these i opened loads of these tins uh back when they came out they're pretty expensive tins like chaos card charge like 150 for these tins came with an armored mewtwo and the pikachu hollow uh so if you don't know this is from the movie as you can see with the stripes there uh so like the 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 clones charizard from the movie if you watch the reissue of the original movie uh so yeah why not cost of grading keep in the collection this one here you guys know i love full art i love groudon and yeah this one doesn't pop up on ebay that much i paid about 30 for it so technically how i'm thinking about it, yes i paid 18 pounds for the card and 12 pounds to grade it it is battered though i did a, a check on this before i bought it like why did it get the four and the back is battered i can't see it but it just might be a lot of indentation that's the good thing about ace before you buy a card you can look up the certain number see what's wrong with it why you got that grade <laughs> yeah but to be honest 30 pounds like i'd rather have one than none one is better than nothing that's my motto here or one is better than nothing or something's better than nothing so yeah for why not grab it regardless of the guy you got the color match label as well so you pay the extra to get that so at least he's got that so it's not too bad there but i love that card i've still to find a nice mint one for the collection i might have one actually i don't even know i think i got like one or two japanese ones but here we go i got get graded i only have like one get graded card in my collection 
but it is the mud kips from ex crystal guardians like i used to collect during like crystal guardian when i was a kid i don't have it like i didn't get anything crazy from it but i just remember the crystal there because i used to think if you had the crystal there all the pokemon are like crystal pokemon because back then uh, i don't know we just knew what we knew on the playground right so i thought all of these were crystals or if i had a picture of a crystal there it was a crystal pokemon i had no idea like the crystal stuff to be honest because obviously you know about the crystals from the previous sets like the crystal lugia the charizard whatnot uh, so yeah but yeah mudkip was my favorite from emerald as in starters it's a hard one tall chicken mudkip i love both of them but i think mudkip takes the cake but you got the reverse stamp love the stamping from the ex era uh so i thought i don't know what i paid like 15 and i thought why not just dash it in the collection just a nice card to have uh, another one we got sgc another grading company i actually like sgc but not for pokemon but i paid 30 pounds of this it's the same price as the raw even though i got like 12 13 of these cards already i got like six psa 10s graded which i graded myself all in my collection i've never sold any of them i thought i still bought it for 30 quid because i remember when these cards were like 100 pounds so i thought 30 quid and these slabs are huge like look at the comparison to a psa one a little bit taller a bit longer like a bit yeah, longer as well so yeah why not grab that let me know any sgc fans i think four sports they're amazing but why not get that boom this one i think i've just got it cheapish so i thought why not add it to the collection at ex Groudon. i just keep buying stuff because it's cheap so my goals for next video you might see less stuff but i'm going to try and get more higher tier stuff i'll probably still buy more cheap stuff knowing me but we we'll probably just instead of buying several cheap stuff and i might buy higher end stuff let me know how you collect guys you buy a lot of cheap stuff like look at all the stuff we're adding to the collection just because we're just getting them for cheap now that's how i mainly built my collection at start and a lot of those cards are now worth a lot so you never know just buy what you like really at the end of the day but we got these uh, hidden legends uh growled on ex it's like 20 quid why not this one was like 12 quid so i like to collect all the charizard cards if you like forget this trainer forget that that artwork there is so cool i actually have a reverse one in my collection which i bought from a bulk months ago so i saw this at the wales comic con and i thought 12 pounds just added to the collection is another charizard to the collection technically so yeah forget that and just look at the charizard like look how cool that is you got the x and y charizards there boom we've got the pikachu gx i don't know where i got this from probably an auction i think probably around 20 ish range so this came in a collection box. I never actually opened that collection box because back then it was cheaper to buy packs on eBay. So I didn't buy this collection box. Super cool collection box. I tried to buy one for my seal. They're going for too expensive. So I just bought the um, graded promo there. I think I might have a raw one already because, you know, I collect all the uh, Pikachus. Um, so yeah, very nice one there. We got this one. I really love this one. PSA 8. Paid about 35. Poke Park Japanese so i love the groudon artwork there you know me i collect all the groudons so a lot of groudons i think i've just been looking at groudons this month it's a we'll name next month might be rayquazas we'll see latios so stay tuned if you're liking what you see here a lot of variety so definitely stay tuned we've got another psa uh right chin alone right gx i thought i think i bought this in a bulk it worked out to be like 10 15 pounds so i thought why not keep it in the collection because i have these raw never graded them same prices less price cheaper to buy it then um grading yourself so dash line the collection we got the generations mega blast toys paid about 12 for this then i got this one which i got in the mystery video so check it out down in the description guys um so yeah blast toys ex2 the collection the evolution generations ones so this one I got the mystery and this one i bought on ebay and then boom more entes so a lot of entes a lot of crowd on today a lot of fire types but yeah P, uh, mint 9 so i bought this off my guy turkham game house i've got another card he needs to send me still so stay tuned for that but uh it was about 15 ish so full art from shining legends why not yeah this is a 30 minute video guys that's how much we bought today so that's why i'm not showing you any of the sealed stuff but yeah we're almost done now like oh hopefully we didn't spoil anything but another random grading company UGC special delivery Charizard. So my boy sent off his first one, hence why the centering's not the best. So otherwise he would pick the better one. But uh, I just traded some bulk for it really, and I bought I traded this and a raw version. I've got a few raws here, but I didn't show them because you know me. I might have more than a few, more than one, but yeah, there's just a couple there. So yeah, I traded with him like a couple thousand bulk for this and a raw one uh, when the prices were higher. So I think we valued this at about 120. 
yeah 120 we valued this in uh, 120 pounds we valued this um so yeah i thought why not I'm, i got five off to ace so stay tuned for that guys and yeah i've been buying just codes and buying these in general so they're pretty cheap now guys so if you haven't got a code make sure to grab one on ebay while they're cheap but yeah i love this card obviously we've been anticipating this card since last year and yeah for why not i'm trading bulk so technically to me it costs me nothing because i'm nothing's coming out of my account apart from the money i spent to get that bulk but that was time ago because i got so much bulk over a hundred thousand bulk as you can imagine from the amount we open so we're getting onto some look at this old school psa slab we got a i even forgot i bought this guys but a NSA PSA 9 so I think I got like the Jap I, I might either have the English graded already or the Japanese graded already um, but just wanted the collection really like um, NSA and I love this promo especially love the artwork I love NSA today I don't know what's going on but yeah I just bought this in auction so why not PSA 9 so it isn't too bad all right guys oh it's got the price there let me know if it's a good price for this we got a special delivery Pikachu near mint to mint 8 so psa 8 paid 90 as you saw there and pretty much i thought i got i got one when these came out did a video on it but it got an a7 i sent it to ace because it wasn't the mintiest and it actually turned out to have a dent in the card which i didn't spot um so i thought let me just get a psa one which is just uh, a little better condition and 90 pounds is less than the raw value so on ebay they're like one over 100 pounds pretty much for raw or graded so 90 pounds if i'm if it's worth more than I pay, then I'm always grab it. If I can get a good deal on something, even though I might not need it, like I don't need one, I already got one, but because it was a good deal, I always add those good deals to the collection. So hopefully you guys, what do you guys reckon on that? 90 good deal for that? Right, let's put that backwards there. Look at these, all old, old school PSA slabs, whereas you got the new school like that. So this one, old school, a lot of the cards old as well. So let's see what we've got here. We got the Blaine's Charizard PSA 9. So yes, this card, probably the most expensive single card today in this video. Oh no, <laughs> the next card is actually more expensive than this one. Wow, that's crazy, <laughs> the amount we spent this month. But yeah, I paid about 150, 160, I think. eBay were doing a 10% offer of like anything on eBay. So this is why you join my Discord. We have an eBay fine section as well as like any eBay deals. So they're doing 10% off. It was like 180, used the voucher 160 uh and yeah pretty much i thought i grabbed this because basically i was doing a tiktok challenge where i used my, my gifts from tiktok to buy a card so i saved my tiktok gifts for seven months accumulated about 100 ish pounds and i added the extra and we bought this one so yeah shout out to everyone supporting me on tiktok sending gifts on the channel and yeah managed to get this awesome card i have one like cgc four or five so to get a mint card of like a vintage Charizard, like a lot, like like I said, I buy a lot of cheap cards it's for once to treat myself to something half decent. I thought, why not? So thank you guys for the support and let me get in that one. And this one here, big, big shout out to Patrick in my Discord, in my YouTube membership. We've got the Ente Gold Star, my first graded gold star in my collection. And like I said, we've run a lot of Entes this month because you know, I love Entes. So this one i paid 220 now it was a no-brainer at that because i helped him out on some trades and some deals at the event uh, i helped him get a promo worlds pack at the event for 300 pounds obviously you check the prices now that's a really good deal um and i just helped him get a lot of stuff and he said i'll sort you out he was asking about 280 uh and then he's like yeah i'll just do 220 because all the deals i was like yo i can't say no to that price so i had to add it to the collection like i said if it's a good deal regardless of the value like it could be a thousand pound card but if it's worth more then I'll, I'll pay the thousand you know what i mean even though i'm keeping a collection like none of this is to flip even though i'm getting good deals i'm gonna instantly sell them for more on ebay but they're all for my collection so if it is a good deal i'll buy it regardless so if you want got any good charizard deals any deals that you think i may like let me know down in the comments but yes ending it off with a gold star a big big card my first graded gold star so hopefully you guys like today's video like some epic stuff today this month and obviously there is might be a few odd things like picked up and pulled and stuff like that as you can see i might have pulled some stuff but let's not spoil future videos but yeah if you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe we'll do these every month so september i've got some stuff coming and then we're going to buy some stuff during september trying to not go as hard as this we we'll try and see if we can get some more maybe we'll beat 220 i don't think i've ever spent more than 220 on a card uh, a single card so this actually might be my most expensive single card purchase so yeah if you want to see more of that you want to support the channel make sure to like and subscribe 
yeah super long video already so let's cut it there so guys i'll catch you next time peace